And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezria Elnux. We have not played an Ezreal deck before. This is going to be the first one. Finally got our extra copies of Ezreal's and this is going to be our first one. Um, Ezreal is a very popular um, archetype, though this is a pretty popular deck. And so, you know, playing another, you know, kind of tier one deck, just like our uh, Kinku Elusive deck that we just got done playing. There's different versions of Ezreal. We're going to be playing the one with the Elnux. I, I've been impressed by the, the Elnux version of Ezreal because, you you know, you have this troop of Elnux package whenever you play this. Summon each Elnux in the top 10 cards of your deck. There's the six total Elnux with the Bull Elnux and Troop of Elnux. So you can have a maximum number of five others in your deck if you have just drawn a Troop of Elnux and no others. But of course, there's only 40 cards in your deck, so... It's a pretty good chance that you hit some Elnux with your troop. Um, but yeah, a card I've been really impressed with Icefield Archer whenever I play against this deck. The Icefield Archer always looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, we're trying to you know target our enemy units eight times, flip Ezreal, and whenever we flip Ezreal, then every time we cast a spell, deal two damage to our opponent. And so we can kind of go crazy by casting... Um, a bunch of spells in a row it really helps with Chump Wump making some poison puff caps to, to cast and so on. Um, I real I didn't realize that this had 20 Frel Yord cards, 20 PNZ cards. That's kind of exciting. But yeah, exactly. The Bull Elnuk is a four mana, four five. Yeah, that's just a, a pretty beefy creature. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, puppy. The, the cow is a beefy creature. Oh, here's puppy. I'll come say hi for a little bit until I get tired of holding you. Because you're 25 pounds. Alright, we'll replace the progress a day. Do I... I don't even know. Actually, i probably replace Ezreal, honestly. That's kind of weird that you replace the... I don't know. Ezreal does have elusive. Alright, cool. We got another one anyway. And say that you replace the champion, but this is the kind of deck that you don't need Ezreal right away. You kind of want Ezreal later. So we're playing against that deck that we just played at the Kinku Elusives. Sure looks like. They had no one drop, no two drop. Ugh. All right, you're heavy. The problem with the El with playing the Elnux is sometimes you draw them. Didn't really want to draw Bull Elnux. Safeguard our home. Because you want them just in the deck for your troop of Elnux. Extra hands never hurt. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good that this one turned into a 2 2, so we don't get to kill it with Static Shock. I'm just worried, like, they have the three mana. I'm worried about them having twin disciplines. And I block here, and they turn their Shadow Assassin into a 5-2. So that's why I'm not, like, blocking with the Ezreal. Give me some Elnux. Yeah. Elnux power. Bleh. Looking for bid. Okay, they're just trading with both of those. So I don't really mind that I just traded that 3-3 three, three away, because one, that 3-3 three, three was, basi was basically free, but two, now this 4-5 is a 4-2. 
So I get to Mystic Shot it. So I've got seven mana. Four, five, six, seven. I walk your path alone. They cannot hide. Deny. I don't have enough mana. All right. No twin disciplines. Thanks, Xanalum. Need to save the Ezreals. Looks like I'm not attacking. I'm gonna get rid of these things and get some new cards. This could backfire on me because I, I am giving them another spot, so if they have another one of those in hand, which kind of seems likely, then they get to play that again. KR9 says they have another 4 2 100%. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess it kind of backfires on me. You can see the Devastian border from here. I will play my part. Remember the plan. Ooh, All right, block here, block here, block here, block there, frostbite, this and this. Take four. I want to put the four or five in front of this so they can't just do the plus three plus zero and say and you know kill my thing. They could still obviously do plus zero plus three. Okay, they're just gonna do that. Yep, so we're... Okay. So yeah, so alright, so I need to target their enemies three more times to level Ezreal. And then we'll just cast... Yeah, like the eight Mushroom Clouds. Hey. I go away. 
Jump a lump. <laughs> yeah, burst spells plus Ezreal is pretty silly. He's going to take the 11. A little surprised this 4-4 four four is not blocking the 3-3. Three three. It's just one more damage. But you get to keep your creature around. So I'm going to have 10 mana next turn. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. So I'm, I'm not going to be killing my opponent the next next turn, but I'm probably going to be killing them whenever I untap. It will be done. All right, they figured that out. The problem is if they have another 4-2, because I don't get to respond to the 4-2. Pumping up Zed. Put on me mask, secure me tail, not today. Cannot strike what they cannot see. I don't think they can do another six damage to me. So I think I'm good here. And then, yeah. And then, yep, they're just... Then I'll just kill him the next turn. I'm leveling with this thing because it's a fast spell. And so then I can just have all burst spells. So basically the next time I get priority, they're they're dead. This is just 12 damage and burst spells. So now Ezreal's level, every spell we cast does two to them. So that's two, four, six, eight, and so on. Oh, you think I should have mystic shot at them? No. It really doesn't matter. Because all, all I need, like, it, it just doesn't matter because all I need is priority. I have 12 damage. All burst, like, you don't get to respond to burst stuff, you don't lose priority. So once I get once you once you gain priority, the the game's over. I don't know. Archer was just a little bit more more mana. Hey, what's up, Blade? Doing good. We are one and zero with our Ezreal Ezreal Elnuk deck. Shen and Fiora, so they're all about the barrier. 
Do I want Marksman's against Shen and Fiora? Probably not, right? I don't know, do I? I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I guess we're gonna find out. Shen and Fiora. Like, regularly Ionia, you want this against. These woods protect their own. Like, usually Ionia has like a bunch of like cheap flyers. I'm not sure with Shen and Fiora. That is true. Yeah, popping a barrier. That's true. Yeah, we can use marksman to pop barriers. That's a good. Good call there. Good call. I can also just try to just try to double marksman. Kill, just kill this thing with two marksmans. Oh, I should have Mystic shot the Fiora, shouldn't I? I should have Mystic shot Fiora. I was thinking, I was just, you know, gonna do this, but yeah, you're, yeah, y'all are right. I should have just Mystic shot Fiora, killed the barrier, and then, then our three one would have killed it. I'm gonna try that do that here. They could have yet another barrier, but I mean they they already played two prismatic barriers, right? Like they probably don't have a third prismatic barrier. That's I think that's the only like barrier at three mana. Okay, they're just gonna single combat. Oh that's true, another barrier doesn't work anyway. Yeah, y'all are right. Probably should have done that the last turn to just get rid of this Fiora, but oh well. The balance requires a watchful eye. Hmm. Boo. Enforced equilibrium. Try me. I didn't feel like that was a that was the time to use harsh winds. There's some more Elnucks. Elnuck friends. <laughs> So they don't have the mana for judgment. Shoot. 
Sharp blade, sharp mind. Counter and strike. Precision and grace. Alright, so I, if this kills one more thing, I'm dead, but I have the harsh winds. It must be done. Try me. The balance has been maintained. Oh, I don't even know what you do when you level up. Cool. So they just have the one card left. Where are you at, Ezreal? Eight? Wait, why have you not leveled up then? Oh, I gotta play you and then you level up? I guess? I got ways to find me mushrooms. I have to play, yeah, I have to play the Trump Womp so I can get the spells. Two now. All right, flat three. Jeez, that was that was close. That was close with the Fiora almost killing us. Oh, we just played against this opponent a little bit ago. So we got the. This is the Kinko elusives because this is our last match with the other Kinko elusives. Was the mirror. Um. Get a new hand. There we go. Omen Hawk, so good. Hawk also so good. For the homestead. Time for a leap of faith. Is it even worth playing Ezreal? Or should I just Mystic Shot that thing? I guess I'll play Ezreal. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. They're gonna be coming with some really big creatures here in a little bit. Played three Omen Hawks now. Yeah, like that. Knocked and ready. 
That's a great combo. Double Omen Hawk, double Conspirator. Hoping this works. Nope. Charge. This is going to be rough. Plus four, plus four. So they played four Omen Hawks. Is that right? Where are we at? We've targeted three times. I know the way. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Yeah, they had they had an awesome hand for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty dead. Harsh wins. So this would be number six. It's got every answer. Everything's better with company. Says you. Had it all. Ready the torches. Oh, I drew harsh winds. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm not quite dead. Okay, I didn't realize I drew hard one. I guess because I was marking the loss already. <laughs> I'm so good, I surprised myself. No sweat.
Not over yet. Pretty darn close to being over, though. I'm gonna do 14 damage with no mana. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. <clears throat> so wait, so Oh, so yeah, maybe if I would have dealt the three to them, because that's let's see. No, because we can block there. So twelve. Twelve, ten, eight, six, five, zero. I have 10 mana, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, so yeah. I think I have this. Ten, eight, seven, five, zero. Yeah, they can deny. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Why are you yelling at me? You're supposed to be on my team. Now stuff resolves. Hang on, sir. No Boom. Way. They don't have to take hard in the deck. They probably just have the one deny. They're using that, that same list. Man, Ezreal is good. Ezreal is good. I, I definitely thought that was a loss. I didn't realize, you know, then I, I top decked that Harsh Winds. That was the perfect top deck. Hey, After Wizard. What's up? We're having some fun with Legends of Runeterra here. Hmm. I don't know. Jump bump's good too. I'll just replace the progress day. Excellent. 
So this is the burn deck. I am going to use Thermogenic Beam. Keep from taking three damage. So no Darius in their burn deck. Just Jinx. So they not go in the discard package. Of course I'm ready. It's a big place. Let's see all of it. No sweat. Just saving. Time to go. <clears throat> saving two life. Teaches me for blocking with Ezreal, I suppose. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's rock Let's make a deal. So we're going to be blocking the Battlecaster and that thing. And then... Uh, so this is going to be... Right now it sets 2, 5, 6, 7, then these die... Or 8, then these die 9, 10. That's 10 damage. I can play this and save 2 damage. I can play this and save 3 I guess this and save three is the way to go. Better run. No refund. Someone get up. So still at ten. Time for a true display of skill. And they're coming in hot. Got these three cards left. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. It's just, you know, whether they'll have enough direct damage. You know, do they have, like, decimates to kill me? Like, this thing's going to do two to me, so, like, we're already at eight. Can't stop me. So I can go Static Shock, kill the 3-1 and that, or I can just go Marksman to kill that. Alright, so now we're down to 5. And now I'm not going to be able to kill Jinx. Alright, 
so whenever they attack, so like they get, get to draw this extra card because they can't kill Jinx now. now it's a party. But you know, a little static shock, we can kill the three one and Jinx, and you know, we got our three blockers. That was unfortunate. That was pretty great. So they have a super mega death rocket that kills me. So those two get excited were just perfect. Um, like the first one to empty their hand so I couldn't kill Jinx. That was perfect. And then the second one, obviously. I didn't get to kill Jinx before they got their super mega death rocket. So those two went really well. Let's see. Zed Karma. All right, got our first loss. The world's a big place. Let's see all. Swift. And I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Strike hard. I don't like this one bit. I got ways to find me mushrooms. I guess I gotta worry about the hand limit a little bit. As fate wills. Yeah, ten. Ten is the hand limit. Yep. So yeah, I have ten here. So I have to play something before I draw. Which that's easy enough. I could just pass and make them waste all this mana. And then I, you know, I don't get a next card. But I could I could still burst and do that, right? Stop having the burst spells. Blech. So hopefully that turns on Brittle Steel. Where there is life, there is hope. Light as 
that works out. Nothing escapes my wife. Let's see, so I need to target enemy units eight times. Maybe it's better instead of doing one point of damage just to get another trigger on Ezreal, actually. I know this doesn't do any damage to that, that thing, but we get another trigger. Alright, so we're at four for Ezreal. Thermogenic beam is probably not going to work, right? Someday you'll learn the true meaning of that word. This is interesting. So they have five mana. Do they have protection for Zed and protection for their 12 5? Hopefully, a lot of mana. Uh, just one mana. Compassion, not anger. All right, yeah, they're just passing just to keep this up, but um, yeah, still definitely just playing this. I'd rather that get denied than this. I guess this can't get denied, can it? But still. That's alright. I mean, it would have been better if that resolved, obviously. Yeah, I guess with this being burst speed, we don't have to worry about deny. I would like them to... Yeah, if they play Zed, I get to... I get to Archer. So that's good. They won't suffer long. Ready the torches. If it's a fight they want. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be winning this. Now that I still have harsh winds, Ezreal about to transform. We gotta cast eight spells after Ezreal transforms. Sure. Save the homestead. Feel pretty good about this. I feel like all I have to do is not die here, or of course, if they kill Ezreal. I mean, obviously, if they kill Ezreal, I'm in. I'm dead. But if they don't kill Ezreal, yeah. I mean, this. I'm 
so good, I surprised myself! You. I, uh, rawr. Oh no! That's not good. And I have 15 damage right here. This is not good now. I felt good before that double back to back, that's for sure. Oh, I have to let that... Right, I wanted that to resolve and take away the, the barrier, then I was going to cast the other one, but it was really unlikely that, that we were going to win that. That back-to-back -back won them that game. Yeah, back-to-back. -back. Oh, well. Hey, Vitellius. Yeah, everything's good. Noxus. All right, all aggro. <laughs> cool. Glad you like the Hawktie name. All right, marksman looking good. Sentry looking good. Like this, we have a good anti aggro hand. Oh, they don't let me block their 5 2 with my 2 1. That would have been so good. And I'm glad we don't have any other Elnux right now. Keep all the other Elnux in the deck. Just keep them in the deck so our troop can get us a lot of Elnux. <laughs> I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Hmm. Isn't the only danger. I guess I'm just going to block. See what happens.
I don't know, that's kind of a scary situation here. Double L Nook. For a little while, wristband, yeah. Playing Legends of Runeterra instead. Really like this game. Oops. Trying this one out instead. Oh, that's scary too. I'm gonna use a thermogenic beam and kill this <clears throat> Legion drummer so they can't give these things quick attack. Where are you at? Four out of eight? I don't even know. That's not even scary. I mean, look at what we got over here. Stun all enemies with power four or less. Okay. That is a good card. A true Fralurian welcome. It's a fight they want. So you're taking five. All right, so they're clearing up some Elnux. Hey, yo, Silver. Thanks for that Twitch Prime resub for an entire year now, 12 months. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks, Silver. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. The glory seeker. So we should be just fine. I'll be very surprised if we lose this. That big a deal. Hear that? Gotcha. I mean, they just got with a one card. Wait. I can just frost breath that thing. Because if you have a 5 plus power ally, kill all units with 4 or less power, so I can just frost, frost breath that. And now they don't. <laughs> Check me out. Yeah, this song is uh, Borrowed Lives by Pierce Fulton. I'll type it out too for you.
Yeah, there's yeah, that's cool interaction. There's so many good interactions with this game. It's really, really well put together. Yeah, yeah, I should thermo beam their overshot. It obviously doesn't matter. We're gonna win, but yeah, I started. If you noticed that, I started to pull back. I tried to pull back the mystic shot right after I targeted. I was like, no, I needed. I should thermo beam, but it was too late at that point. I'd already already targeted. And didn't get to pull it back, but. Alright, so this is the spiders with a bunch of rallies. I'm going to keep this troop. I'm going to look for other cards. No, not other Elnux. Yeah, like I, I want Archer and Static Shock's a good one. Get Excited does kill in a lease, but costs a lot of mana and you got to discard a card. This isn't the best to get excited deck. <laughs> I know, right, Rex? Yeah, I have had all this stuff still. I know what lurks in the shadows. I don't really want to use Get Excited. You dare. You know, and two for one myself to kill the Elise. I just don't really want to do that. I know I can, but... It's a good thing about these cards being three ones. You know, like, these are good against fearsome creatures. Because they have that three power. And just had a game where your opponent had seven Hecarims. And you won, and you say it needs to be nerfed. That's not a great time to play Frenzied Skitter. Like, they should play it on their turn to keep me from blocking. Elnucks. All right, we got one Elnuck friend. Elnuck friends. No, 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 no. Elnuck best friend. Yes. 
Where are we at? One? <laughs> One out of eight? Wish I had one more mana. Yeah, good chance I should have just cast the second static and denied the glimpse and killed the Mist Wraith. Right then. So this attack puts me down to eight. Not going down to eight anymore. Gain their five life. They've don't blink. Oh, you missed. I want to get the free mystic shot with this. have a favorite deck right now. Gotcha. How close are you to transforming? Need to target three more things. Firing. I'll just go upstairs. Yeah, I wouldn't say that I have a favorite deck right now. Yay, no Mark of the Isles. I guess I should have protected about that by having the 3-3. Three, three. I guess I should have had the 3-3 three, three block one of the other creatures, shouldn't I? Six mana, right? So I can deal two to that. Just let that resolve. Check me out. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yep. Once, so to to make challenger work, you you. You know, you put your challenger creature here, and then their creatures have the challenger symbol, and then you drag. And so you you do that like while you're making your attackers, you drag it there. But yeah, it's it's one of the it's one of the tutorials. I don't know which one. You can kind of you can probably um, 
They have two mana. They can only just drain one with two mana, right? This is eight damage. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's how you do that. Man, Ezreal is good. All right, so there we go. So we went five and two with Ezreal also. Um, yeah, so that, that was in ranked. Yeah, so we're in, uh, platinum, question mark. Really wish they would just say what these are. I think platinum now. The one after gold. Um, all right, so so there we go. So there's Ezreal Elnox, another five and two. So good good uh, record there. Um, yeah. So then, uh, so we're done with our expeditions for the week because this is Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we're done with our expeditions for the week. So now it's just going to be constructed. We're just going to continue to play ranked decks. Um, uh, the so tomorrow saturday sunday we're going to be playing ranked decks i'm going to be playing five decks a day i think um i'm going to start build you know building you know building more decks and everything i'm going to try to play five decks a day uh if i have it, enough decks um just because you know like time wise i think that that works out pretty well playing seven matches with each one um so there we go so there's ezreal elnux all right so those of y'all watching on youtube Hope you enjoyed this deck also. Both the decks that we played today were both very good. Um, Kinku Elusives and Ezra Elnux, they're both uh, very solid. These are, you know, some of the, the better decks in Legends of Runeterra. That's some of the more popular decks, too. They're two of the most popular, two of the best. Um, and, yeah, I'd recommend either one. Playing them both, they both felt uh, really good. Uh, yeah, they both felt like really powerful decks. Um, all right. Uh, so there we go. So that's... Uh, that's Ezra Elnux. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh yeah, y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate that. And, uh, you know, leave those comments, but yep, there we go. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.